we live in a world right now where interest rates are at historic lows. I mean, for the last decade, interest rates have done nothing but go down. Uh, with rates as low as they are right now, I'm not saying that rates are going to uh, go up precipitously anytime soon. Maybe they will, maybe they won't. But I think it is, it's pretty safe to say that there's not a lot of um, downside room for interest rates. That being the case, uh, when interest rates go up, the value of existing bonds go down. Okay? And the longer that you are stuck with a bond that is below in the current interest rate levels, the more it's going to drop. For example, let's say that you went to the bank and you bought a certificate of deposit, a CD, that paid 6%. And interest rates dropped. Okay, And now you decided, I don't want to own this CD anymore. Hey, Adam, would, would you buy this CD from me? Well, if interest rates at that time on CDs were at 4%, I would go to you and go, yeah, you've got one paying 6%. I would pay you a little bit more for that than what you paid for it because it's, it's at a higher rate than what I can currently get. Now, on the other hand, if interest rates went the other way, you went and you got a 6% CD. Now I can walk into a bank and get 8%. I'm going to want to pay you a discount because why would I buy your used CD that is at below what I could get a new one for if... I can, uh, you know, if I could just go get a new one that, that paid a higher rate. Now, the amount of premium or discount that you would get for your existing CD would be dependent upon how long you get to keep it for. So if you bought a five-year CD that was paying 6% interest and four and a half years from now, I tried to buy it from you, so there's only six months left, yeah, I'd be willing to pay if it's above current rates, I'd pay you a little bit more, but not very much more because after six months, then it goes away. If, on the other hand, you had bought a 20-year CD, I'd be willing to pay a significant premium for that. Or, on the other hand, if interest rates had gone up, I would want to get a significant discount because I'm going to be stuck with that below market rate CD for a very, very long time. The same thing is true inside bond funds. And the measure of that is called the duration. And that's the, the indicator that investors need to take a look at with their mutual funds. Um, because duration actually takes into consideration two things. Number one is the average maturity of the bonds, but it also takes in, into consideration the calls that are available. And a call is many times when a company, a government, uh, a, a municipality issues a bond, it may be a 10-year bond, but they say after five years, we have the right to pay the loan off, to pay that bond off early if we want to. And so duration takes into consideration not just that it's a 10-year piece of paper, but also that after five years, they may or may not uh, be able to, to buy it back from you early. Okay? We want Right now, we want funds that have relatively short durations. Let's say somewhere in the uh, zero to maybe five years in duration. Because if interest rates do go up at some point in the future, because those are relatively short, and five years and less is, is considered a short-term uh, bond, those things are short. Even if interest rates go up, the value of those are going to fall less because you're not stuck with them for very long. Whereas if it were a 20 or 30 year duration, that's something you could be stuck with for a very, very long time. So in today's world, we want to look for short durations on our bond funds.